Okay, DeSoto football coach Ev Wick here. As we can see behind him, the pit not quite ready for this school year, but uh, it's green anyway. Uh, tell us a little bit about the progress uh, that we have going on here and how it's going to affect you this year. Uh, you know, we were hoping to get out there at the start of the season. You know, some of the weather didn't cooperate with the snowstorm in April and, and some other hiccups along the way. So we did have to move three of our home games. So we're playing week two, four, and five at Logan. So special thanks to Casey and Jordan and gang over there for helping us out and finding a spot for us. Uh, so yeah, we'll play three, three additional. We won't be here until week seven, homecoming game. What's, uh, what's a big deal to at least get it for a homecoming game, I guess? Yeah. If you're gonna, <laughs> we're you know and there'll be a little ceremony and things for all the people that helped make this happen. And uh, it's been a long time. It'll be over two years since we played on that field when we finally get down there. Okay. Uh, two consistent things whenever you're talking to solo football are playoffs and defense. Uh, I've had some good offenses here too in the past, but uh, the defense seems to really kind of carry things here. Tell us a little bit about that side of the ball for you this year. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's always nice we have some defensive-minded kids to, to work with, and um, you know this year's no different. We got a lot of guys that can move around and, and uh, hopefully be tough to block and make a lot of plays for us, so we can uh, you know try to hold teams down so we can get enough on the board and win the game. Who are some of those kids that we're going to see on a week-to-week -week basis? And uh, if people are out of your game, say, "Wow, who's that kid?" Yeah, our three <laughs> three linebackers would be pretty solid for us. Be uh, Trevor Raybron, Brock Benner, and then uh, Jake Sakora. We have a couple of D backs that are pretty good: Kyler Kunke and Alex Scoville. Our D line will be physical as as uh, in the past. Hopefully, a little bit more at some point, and then uh, we'll be well. A lot of interchangeable pieces and. In that defense.